in a distant kingdom nestled between emerald forests and azure rivers, lived a young man named Aden. Aden was renowned for his intelligence and exceptional craftsmanship in creating intricate jewelry. His creations, often adorned with sparkling gems, were sought after by people from far and wide. However, what set Aden apart was not just his remarkable talent but also his unwavering commitment to honesty and transparency. Aden's workshop was a small, sunlit haven filled with gemstones of every hue. His most prized possession was a magnificent crystal key. A family heirloom passed down through generations. The key was said to hold mysterious powers. Although no one knew exactly what they were, Aden's ancestors had sworn to guard it with integrity. And so did he. Word of the crystal key's existence spread across the kingdom, catching the attention of the enigmatic Countess Elara. Countess Elara was a woman of rare beauty, with a reputation for being shrewd and cunning. She coveted the key, believing it could unlock unimaginable riches and grant her dominion over the kingdom. One fateful day, as the sun cast a warm glow on Aden's workshop, Countess Elara arrived in a flurry of opulent silks. Her piercing eyes locked onto the crystal key, its radiant glow captivating her. She approached Aden with a honeyed smile and expressed her desire to possess the key. She promised him boundless wealth and opulence in exchange for the prized artifact. Aden's heart was torn between temptation and his values. He could have easily accepted the Countess's offer and lived a life of unparalleled luxury. But the memory of his ancestors' teachings and his commitment to honesty weighed heavily on his conscience. With a heavy sigh, Aden politely declined the Countess's offer explaining that the key held sentimental value beyond any material riches. Frustration gnawed at Countess Alara's pride, and her demeanor turned frosty. She left the workshop, seething with a determination to acquire the key at any cost days turned into weeks. And the Countess hatched a devious plan. She spread false rumors about Aden's craftsmanship tarnishing his reputation and turning the townspeople against him. Aden's once thriving business began to dwindle as customers grew hesitant to buy from him. A cloud of despair settled over the young artisan. But he refused to abandon his principles. Instead of succumbing to defeat, Aden decided to prove his integrity once and for all. He organized a grand exhibition in the heart of the kingdom. Inviting artisans and dignitaries from far and wide, Aden's intricate designs, each imbued with his heart and soul, shone brilliantly in the sunlight. People marveled at the craftsmanship before them, and whispers of Countess Alara's deceitful schemes began to circulate. In a dramatic climax, Aden unveiled the crystal key to the astonished crowd, narrating its history and the values it represented. He revealed the truth behind the rumors and the Countess's malicious intentions. The townspeople were appalled by her actions and rallied behind Aden. Condemning her dishonesty, Countess Alara's reputation crumbled as swiftly as it had risen. Defeated and humiliated, she fled the kingdom, leaving behind a legacy of deception. Aden, on the other hand, emerged victorious not just as an exceptional artisan but as a symbol of honesty and integrity. The kingdom prospered under Aden's unwavering commitment to truth and transparency. His workshop thrived once more, attracting patrons who valued his craftsmanship and his values. The crystal key, displayed prominently in the workshop, became a beacon of integrity that inspired generations to come. And so, the tale of Aden and the crystal key of integrity echoed through time, reminding all who heard it that honesty and transparency, even in the face of adversity, are the cornerstones of a noble and fulfilling life.